am going to do a lymph check because I am going to be using some hair growth products. Products that are supposed to help your hair grow. So I got the back right. I'm just gonna take this big section here. So now let's pull it down. It goes to to the second line here. All right, so the back goes to that second line. We'll use that as a measuring reference. I'm not gonna measure, physically measure that part. Uh, front, right. All right, so we're gonna measure the, we're only measuring, technically measuring the front. We're using my shirt as a guide for the back. So we have about nine and a half right now. Let's do it out again. So for the front, we're just gonna go like this. And right now it goes right to my chin. So we're going to see how much my hair grows after using these products for a few weeks. And yeah. <laughs> a few moments later. Have my little concoction here and I'm just going to apply it to my scalp. So this is why I try to do intentional parting when I did my mini twists so that it will be easy to hit the scalp when I apply this. So I'm gonna start off with a spoon so I can throw it out and just take it. It's real gooey. It has a peppermint scent. So I wonder if it's gonna be tingly. <laughs> it feels good. So I'm just gonna apply it to every part. Okay, and I'm going to get my edges up here. Day two. So I just applied the mixture to my scalp and I, it's tingling. It's, it's definitely tingling. I used the black Jamaican black castor oil that had the peppermint in it and then you have the sulfur -y. I'm pretty sure that tingles on its own too but I'm just a little su surprised and I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised because I was kind of expecting it but after using it the first time I don't remember it being like this on my scalp <laughs> and it's definitely noticeable like very noticeable I can feel it all over maybe I didn't apply it enough the first time I don't know but I definitely feel it today so yeah hopefully it's working hopefully that means it's working <laughs> Until the next day. So I think I waited, what, three days to do it again because I could still feel the, like when I touched my scalp, I still had residue on my hand and that means that it's still there. So I didn't want to put too much on top of that because grease does clog your pores and I just wanted it to do its thing before applying more onto it. So anyways, I'm wrapping right now, but I will see you guys probably in two or three days when I, I reapply it again. One eternity later. So we're back. It's been a month. And I'm gonna go ahead and 
do this. The back part first. Yeah, I would say the longest piece goes right there. Okay. So we have the front section here. And last time it went like right to my chin. This time it goes, I gotta hold it down here so I can pull it. Under my chin, it's about an inch. The longest piece goes down to right here. And my chin's all the way up there. <laughs> so that looks like an inch. I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. All right, so the longest piece of my hair goes to right here. There's a piece, there's still hair. Y'all see that? Right there. And that's more than 10. So that's about an inch, because it was nine and a half when I started, and now it's about 10 and a half. So, I think that stuff works. I'm gonna go another month. 2,000 years later. I'm back, and I'm going to measure my hair. This time it's going to be, sorry if you hear my steamer going on in the back, I'm about to pre-poo. All right, let's see where this is at. After two months, I might have to stand up. All right. Last time it was about, it was between these two, I think. So let me kind of stand up. It goes down a little past the third one. So right here, let's do it again. The longest piece, one, two, three goes a little bit beyond the third one maybe on to the fourth so that's good grow all right and then I did a piece in the front and last time I was measuring by my chin it doesn't look like I feel like I manipulate my hair the most in the front so it still goes beyond my chin. I lost my tape measure that I was using for my hair, so I have to use this dirty one. Luckily, I'm about to wash my hair. But let's just measure this because let me know where it's set. That's almost 11. Yeah, so I would say 11 in the front. Overall, I really liked using this Dugro and Sulfur 8 mix. I really liked the consistency of grease and how easy it is to apply to your scalp compared to oil. I think it really did help my hair grow. In the back, I got about an inch of new growth each month. And in the front, I got an inch in the first month. In the second month, my hair grew, of course, because it grows from your scalp, but I don't think I retain much of that length. And I think that is attributed to me not having a protective style. Anyways, if you do try this out for yourself, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until my next one, I will see you later. Bye.